this you doing, but I play along Keep waiting for that late night test, I know you staying up Can't tell the difference when she flooding, when she playing around yeah. Over the hall on me, nah, I'm really bit at release when she slapping Yeah, I'm just tryna keep that release off inside of me How you expect that I've been feeling when you lied to me? Yo, chat, are we rolling? How you guys doing, man? It's your boy Jay Bones, and this may look a little different than what we're used to, but we need to get used to it because we're entering a different era in the Jay Bones YouTuber era. Because although I'm a proud follower of Christ and someone who wants to spread the gospel and preach to you guys about the positive things Christ has done in my life, I've also found it important to incorporate and be creative when it comes to my creative process in YouTube. And that's why today for you guys, we have a thrifting haul. <laughs> and I know it would probably be more conventional if I showed you guys a close, so give me a second. Let me just grab these. As I just said, today we have a thrifting haul of some of the things I've thrifted recently over the past couple weeks to the past month in general, or probably throughout the whole summer. If there's any pieces I miss, I'll probably incorporate it in the next video because these are videos I want to do routinely, maybe once or once, once or twice every month to really show you guys what I picked up. But all in all though, I really want to get into fashion content. I really want to show you guys that I know how to get fly. And in all honesty, I'm about to be dropping a lot of pictures on my Instagram. So if y'all ain't following Jay Bones on Instagram, y'all make sure y'all tap in on him. I definitely want to show love to the people, to the 16,000 people that like my last post because I would have never expected myself to get 16,000 likes on a post, especially that fit post because I didn't really like it for real. But when it comes to that jersey right there, I thrifted that jersey too. So that's why I'm telling y'all, I am overly qualified to teach y'all how to get fly on a budget. The jersey itself, was ten five to ten dollars the pants were four dollars the shoes were like 160 the chain was 30 35 and the glasses were but besides that boys let's get straight into the video but anyways there boys let's get into the first piece of the day which is my personal favorite piece from everything i've thrifted recently which is this <sighs> Worksman Carhartt jacket, I guess you could say. The company name on this is Lark Maintenance Center. I don't know any Lark Maintenance Centers in Florida, so if you know any, y'all boys let me know. As y'all see here, Lark Maintenance Center, along with the Carhartt logo. This this piece right here is my favorite piece, literally because it's Carhartt. I've been looking for a Carhartt jacket for a long time. And in the clips you've seen before, me and my homeboys went to Miami, and then we went to Thrift on Miami, and I didn't even think I was gonna find anything, but I found this car jacket and a couple other pieces that I'm gonna show y'all later. And maybe I'm overhyping it just because it's Carhartt, but maybe I'm not overhyping it because Carhartt is Carhartt, man. And I got this for a really good price of $45. I'm gonna say $65, but I bought it for $45. If you found this on Depop or any other website, look at look at me when I talk to you. Look at me. Look at me. If you found this on any other website, it probably would have been hundreds to two hundreds of dollars. But I got this for 45. So whether you like how it fits on me or not, I'm gonna keep it. And I'm probably gonna try to wear it for a fit. And if I can't wear it for a fit, I'm just gonna resell it and upcharge. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna upcharge. Matter of fact, if one of y'all in the comment section really want it, hit me up on IG. Now consider sending it to you. Consider. Didn't guarantee. I said consider. But anyways though, let's get into the next piece. Mm. Now you may be wondering, Jay, why did you just change your jacket? Well, just like I said, we're getting into the next piece. And the next piece is literally, okay. This piece might be my favorite piece. Hold on, I'm thirsty. Give me a second, chat. <clears throat> that was uncalled for. But anyways, though, y'all boys, this right here is the next piece that I really want to get into. This is a good, this piece right here is a good fellow um, canvas carpenter jacket. I don't know what these are called. I just know I like the fit. Let me stand up so y'all can properly see it. As y'all see, it has this like little like, I like the buttons, but along with the buttons, I like the texture of it. Because if I really wanted to, I'd be able to dye this. But let me do give y'all boys a 360. Boom, this jacket right here fits me perfectly. I have no intention of giving it up. In all honesty, this jacket right here might be the basis of my next fit pictures. I'm not sure yet though. But all in all, I feel like this jacket goes stupid. It goes crazy and I love it. And yeah. I feel like this is a W pickup. And also, I got, I, I got to make sure I'm telling y'all boys the prices. 
the last jacket, just like I said, was 45. The Carhartt little like work work jacket, that was 45. This jacket right here was a whopping $12. Meaning that just like I told y'all before, if you want to get fly on a budget, you just got to go thrifting. And when you go thrifting, you have to look. Because I guarantee y'all, bro, shout out my boy Cello, bro. You want to get fly, if you want to expand your wardrobe, number one, you just need to go thrifting. And when you go thrifting, you need to open your eyes and look. like, And not look on one side of the store, but go around the whole store with an open mindset to, of knowing that you want to explore, bro. On um, bro. And literally, I wouldn't have picked up all these pieces if it wasn't for Sham and Cello. So shout out them boys. But just like that, we're going to get into the next piece. I was about to take this off, but I'm going to keep it on. Getting into the next piece I have for y'all boys, which is also my favorite pair of pants that I copped. No, this is probably my second favorite pair of pants that I copped. But all in all, I wanted to show this pants off before because I've worn the other pants a lot since I first thrifted it like two to three weeks ago. But these pants right here are some car pants. Let me come in and show y'all. These are some Carhartt pants. I'm pretty sure I got these pants for about, I think I got these pants for about 12 or 15. It was 12 or 15. It wasn't in the 20s or 30s ranges. It was 12 or 15. I caught these pants for 12 or 15. And I remember I was scared to cop them because I know the waist was like a 38. But my homeboy Sam was like, bro, just cop them. You're going to put on the belt and they're going to fit perfect. And literally, I came home, washed them, put them on, put a belt on these schmackaroos, on these pair of butt -up pants, fam. And I guarantee you, bro, they fit perfectly like love. Now, a lot of honesty, would I want to show you guys what the pants look like? Of course I do. But do I want to get up and show you guys? I really don't because it's literally like 2, 3 a.m. And I don't feel like doing all those movements. But all in all, these Carhartt pants, light. They're like a doo-doo brown. I give them a dookie brown color. I'll describe. That's what I'm going to describe. I'm a little dookie brown color. But these are definitely a pair of pants that I love. And I'm glad I went and I thrifted it. Moving on to the next pair of pants that I have. Because I told you I'm not putting it on. So I'm going to come up to the camera and show you. The reason I love these jeans is because of this line right here. That goes all the way down to the bottom. And pretty much kind of flares the bottom. And through this flaring the bottom. You know what this does? It gives me the perfect stack when I put on shoes. Now, should I show you guys the beautiful stack? Maybe I should. But will I? Probably not, because I don't feel like doing that. Hold on, just stay right there, stay right there. Before we move on to the thrifting part of this video, there's just one more pickup that I really want to show y'all that I love that isn't thrifting, but it's something I picked up recently in general that I really love. So let me show y'all. And the piece I'm talking about, or the pickup I'm talking about, are these Alexander McQueen boots. I like these shoes a lot because they're thick, they're chunky, and they just sit right with me. Another PSA, I did not get these shoes while thrifting. I picked them up whenever I picked them up. Y'all don't need to know my business. Y'all got to know my business. All right, let me tell. But as I said, these shoes right here are one of my favorite shoes. I just want to incorporate in the video to show y'all that I'm slowly upgrading my sneaker game as well. I got Sambas. I got two pairs of Sambas. I got one pair of fives, one pair of twos. A pair of dunks that I use as beaters, a pair of canvases, a pair of strays, which are like these vans, but they're cream colored. Like I'm starting, I'm slowly starting to expand my sneaker collection. But all in all, I just want to show y'all boys my McQueens. I have like two other pairs of McQueens as well, but those are my new McQueens. So I want to show y'all those are my, as my new pickups. But um, yeah. Now you're about to go watch me thrift. I'm sorry. I just had to add that in real quick. Now, this is where we get into the pieces that I just copped just to cop and not really because I thought they were like extremely tough. Moving on to the first piece I want to talk about is this bubble jacket. I thrifted this bubble jacket probably around April or May. This is probably one of my oldest thrifts that I have in my collection that I'm showing you guys in this video because I've never really done a thrifting haul video or explaining it in my pickups. But this bubble jacket right here, I remember me and Shane went thrifting. We saw it and, I, and we said, Jay, you should cop this because you never know when you're going to need to wear it. And if y'all want to know how long it's been since I cop this, it's when I still had free forms. Y'all go back and look how long it's been since I had free forms in a YouTube video. It's been a minute. But this bubble jacket right here, I copped it. I still don't know what fit to wear with it. If you guys have any ideas on what I should do with it, y'all let me know down in the comment section below. But more importantly, if any of you guys want this jacket, comment down below and I'll ship it over to you guys ASAP, no Rocky. And then this piece right here was definitely one of like a, was definitely more of an artistic purchase. Was definitely more of just like a, it was $3, so why not pick it up? And there was this little like childish Gambino sweater. And the reason I like this childish Gambino sweater is because um, this is America. 
besides that, um, that's pretty much all I really have for thrifting but that I picked up recently. Um, I see my pair of drawers that I wear all the time, all the way in the corner of my bed, because I'm pretty sure I was just wearing them earlier today. But am I going to show you guys? No, I'm not, because that's going to be a whole separate video in itself. If y'all always want to know how I make my, how I made my jorts or how I like hand, like, um, distress them and stuff, y'all boys let me know down in the comment section as well. But all in all, for the first time of me showing you guys my thrift haul, I feel like I did pretty good. Y'all boys let me know which I rate my thrifting haul on a scale of one through 10. But in all honesty, I think I did pretty decent for myself. Now, if you made it this far into the video, I just want to say appreciate you for tuning in to this new style of content I'm trying to make. In all honesty, I'm trying to be more creative. I'm trying to be more of a lifestyle creator. And the reason I want to be a lifestyle creator, as I said before, isn't because I do not want to glorify God in what I do. But I want to show you guys me living my daily life to show y'all just what it's like in my life is living as a Christian content creator. I want to show you guys that I'm not someone who lacks personality because I feel like with my app sessions, it's me being very robotic. And at the end of the day, I'm a young dude. I go out, I venture a lot. And I want to highlight that in my content. I want to show you guys exactly what I do. Now, in all honesty, if you guys want to keep up with the yapping and still see me yap and stuff like that, I would say follow my TikTok page that I wrote myself called J Bones Clips, where I post like all the real stuff I say during the day or on a vlog. It's going to be on J Bones Clips. But in all honesty, if you really want to be uh, see my lifestyle content, I would say definitely tap in right not only my Instagram page that I'll be mainly posting my lifestyle content on, but also tap in with my new TikTok account, which is called, I think, J-Bones Daily. But all in all, though, the whole point of this video was to speak or bookmark a transitional phase in my content creation journey and in my YouTube style of producing as well but all in all appreciate you guys for tuning into the video y'all boys stay blessed stay positive i love every single one of y'all boys and come in and give me a hug just come give me a hug yeah just like that just a nice tight hug make sure you like comment and subscribe and besides that it's your boy j bones and i'm out